name's Lee Beasley, I'm a senior engineer here at Caterquick. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to wire up your new pass-through. Now this must be done by a qualified engineer, um, qualified for electrical wiring. Now these are set up ready for three phase connections, which is just your live one, your live two, your live three, neutral and earth, just as normal. Um, but one thing to note when you are wiring these in is to make sure you use the clamp at the back rather than putting the cable underneath the screw terminal as it doesn't give a good enough connection, uh, which we'll go into a little bit later on. Okay, so uh, when inserting your cables into these clamps, uh, do make sure they go into the clamp. As you can see, as I close and open this screw, you can see the clamp opening and closing. That's where we want you to put your cable. Uh, we do get some people who will put them underneath the screw, but uh, we don't want that. Uh, that doesn't give a good enough connection. That's what we provide these clamps for on these machines. So open it up, get the clamp open, pop your cable into the clamp. Tighten it up. And then you get a nice good connection then for your life. Okay, so I've uh, wired this up now. This is ready uh, for three phase. Uh, as you can see, these links come pre-configured ready for the three phase connection. Um, you've got two links here and two links there. So all they do is link the neutral across to the other neutral bars. So you've got these ones here and you've got another two back there. Now when you change this to a single phase, you'll reconfigure these links to link the lives as well as the neutrals, which I'll go through in a moment. Uh, but this is the configuration as it stands for a three phase connection. Uh, you do have, while we're here, we do have a couple of other connections. Uh, connections seven, eight, and nine. These can be used for external pumps. Now we've had people in the past uh, put links between these. Uh, now please don't do this because that will blow the board and stop your pumps, your detergent pumps from working. So uh, unless you're wiring external uh, pumps um, and, you, and you know what you're doing, just don't, don't touch any of these terminals down this side here. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna show you how to change and configure your machine to run on single phase. Um, now you can have a, it depends on what supply you're gonna be running. We, if you're gonna go down to single phase, we recommend 32 amp. Um, so you'll need to change your configuration of your links here, and we'll also need to uh, disconnect one of your elements internally to run on 32 amps, um, which I'll go through a little bit later. Uh, but uh, first of all, we need to configure your links. So like I said earlier on, you've got four of these links that come with the machine, and you'll just need to take these off and reconfigure them. So what you want to be doing now is keep your neutrals linked over. So we use two of them to link your neutrals. So we've got neutral there, and then these other two blanks are your other two neutrals. So when the neutrals you want to put on the top end, and that one just slots in behind the other one. That's your neutral side of the links done. So we're going from your neutral there up to the next neutral and then up to your final neutral. Uh, the other two links then, we're gonna want to configure these to link your lives up. So we've got your live three, your live two, and your live one. So we wanna link these on the other side now so that they don't come in contact with your neutrals. So when you, when you put these in, if you just make sure they go into your uh, clamps like before. Just like that. So we tighten those up. And once those are tightened up, I haven't tightened this one up yet because uh, we're going to put our, our live into that one to link up. But just make sure that they're in nice and tight and they're not going to come loose. There we go. So we've got your live to live to live. 
and on the other side neutral to neutral to neutral. Okay so I've already wired up the earth and the neutral here and just about to put the uh, live into it. Um, now with the live you're going to be sharing your clamp terminal with the uh, link that goes off to the next uh, live terminals. So just make sure that when you put this in that you have got both of them fully in the clamp and then uh, tighten it up. And again, just make sure you're nice and secure, and then just make sure that your your links are secure as well, that it hasn't jumped underneath your clamp and it is actually clamped in there as well. And uh, that's that part of it done. Now we'll go around in a moment then to look at the uh, elements because this is single phase. We're gonna have to drop an element uh, to make sure it uh, isn't gonna be uh, too much power for your 32 amp connection. Okay, so uh, now we've wired up in the side panel, uh, because we're going down to single phase and we're on that 32 amp, um, that element alone is uh, 9 kilowatts, so that's going to be around about 39 amps. So we want to drop it below that, so we want to disconnect one of these uh, element legs, which will bring us down under 32. So best thing to do is always disconnect the top elements. Now these elements link up inside uh, between these these reddish colored ones and these white colored ones. We're just going to take off one one lot. So take off all these red ones. Take them off. And those off and then just uh, put these out to the side. Put a bit of electrical tape around them to keep them off to the side or a zip tie to zip them back. And then um, that it, machine then it will be ready and configured for single phase. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, as it is, as I've just shown you, it's very simple to uh, wire up one of these for single phase or three phase. Uh, just that little conversion for the single phase, pretty simple. Uh, if you do need help, um, we're always on the end of the phone, just give us a call and you can even be put through to one of our engineers to, for a bit more information. Uh, thank you very much for watching.